on your iPad, there's a button here. You hold that down. Okay, now, sometimes the um, driver app will come up automatically, but here's the driver app right there. So I'll press on the driver app. Now uh, press accept and press accept again. Enter your driver number. And press accept. Right. Now as the little green bar up here that tells you that it's connected to the meter. As you can see it's got go on duty. So press go on duty and it immediately plots you in the area you're in. So I'm in area one which is the town area CBD and I'm number two. Two in the queue. Uh, you'll have my trips plot available trips trip history. A job will come to you and it'll be my trips. So your job will show up here. I'll have the name, address, and a little tiny icon. It's blue icon, and that will that's a navigation. So if you don't know where to go, you press on the little blue, tiny little blue icon next to the address here, and it'll take you to the map, which is the navigation map. It'll all, it'll come up, and it'll say start. You press start, and it will take you to the address. Uh, available trips, if you already have a job, you can press that while you have a job on board, available trips, and it will tell you if there are any other jobs pending. They'll be in cover, what we call cover. So if someone says, have a look at your cover screen, you press on available trips. Now your trip history, that will tell you all the jobs that you've had. It'll take me right back from the very beginning when I first started this app. It'll have a record of all my jobs, all the fares that I've done, and any jobs that I've rejected, any jobs that I recalled, it's all on there. Say if you're um, really busy and you haven't got time to write out a white docket, you can always go back and get your details. Go back, press home again, and go back to the main screen. So we we'll have plot. You're in, say, if you're in area two, you can plot in area two. But I'm, going, I'm in area one, so I'm going to plot area one and press home. Uh, another thing I'd like to show you is that if you're on your lunch break. Well, you're out of the car for some reason you're going to be out of the car five ten minutes you can go to plot remove plot and go off duty so it's off duty and that way it doesn't you're not rejecting any jobs that come to you and you don't have a whole list of jobs that you've rejected press home again and takes you back to the main screen uh, navigate, we put, I showed you that before, it brings up your map, you can type in an address that you need to go to, if you don't have it on your screen. Uh, statistics, statistics will show you the CBD, how many cars there are in the CBD, vacant, how many are busy, and so on. It'll show you all the areas. Go back home screen again. Uh, messages. You have your messages if um, the office or one three cabs have sent you a message. I've gone off duty, so go back on duty. Another thing too, when when you've dropped off a passenger and they paid the fare, it'll come off come up on the screen off duty. Remember always to press. On duty, always press it, go on duty. 
otherwise it'll just you won't get any jobs uh, if you need to recall a job or reject a job go to trip issues and I'll have up have it here recall no job you turn up to an address and no one's coming out they're gone you press no job or if you've got a query about a job and you want to speak to the operator job query and it has recall if you have to recall a job you're at the rank and a job comes to you but a passenger jumps in at the same time so you want to recall the job you press recall uh, yeah so it's pretty simple you'll get the hang of it very easy another thing I forgot to say is log off it's quite simple it's right there press the button log off and press the button the little button up top here you press that power off there we are we're done